I did a hit piece on Valerie Jarrett a while back that got thousands, thousands of hits on YouTube and it mysteriously disappeared. It was just gone one day. And so it came as no surprise to me as I read this article that I'm going to put a link to that she's worked very closely with Google. I think she can pick up the phone and have this video taken down. So I may have to put it on another website. I don't know. We'll see how long it stays up. But you've got to take a look at the New Republic's article that they did about her that is none too flattering. It's called Valerie Jarrett is the Obama Whisperer. I saw today that the Washington Post did a review about the New Republic's article that paints Valerie Jarrett as the real power and I would say backbone in the White House. So Valerie Jarrett is accused among other things in these articles of being obsessed with the press and values the success of any meeting based on favorable media and she is the one who tries to keep a tight lid on any leaks that go out but it's easy because our watchdog press has become a liberal lapdog press. So the Post also says she's extremely inexperienced in politics. She's so naive. It helps me understand why Obama is so naive. Because the two of them are like best friends. Well, I'd say three of them because she's best friends with Michelle and uh, Michelle used to work for her and so that personal relationship that threesome there's a threesome going on in the White House with Michelle and Barry and Valerie and Valerie has survived everybody else in that administration because as it says in the post she will never ever 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 get fired and that translates into her doing whatever it is she wants to do. And she can be as petty as a fourth grader. She, she's so petty, the reports say, that people within her own Democratic Party consider her a spy. She is truly the Obama whisperer.